Bella, is, is everything okay? Of course, Edward. It's just... Just what? Oh, nothing. I suppose I'm just, like, stressed out. I have a big test tomorrow. I can't stop thinking about it. Are you sure? I I'm always worried that I'm, I'm hurting you. No, 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 it's fine. But could you actually bite me a little harder? Uh, really? I, I mean, I, I thought it was pretty hard. I mean, um, it's kind of the hardest I can go. All right, then. It's fine. Don't worry about it. great woman, Dr. Fang, and she told us all about how body size is directly correlated to bite force. Is that so? I thought it was all about his jaw muscles. That's what I thought too, but actually it has to do more with body size that's correlated to bite force. No offense, Bella, but Edward is kind of scrawny. I mean, he won't go to the gym. I keep trying to get him to go. He just refuses. But I still don't totally understand how his bite force has to do with his entire body and not just his jaw muscles. Let me give you Dr. Fink's summer. I'm sure she can explain it better than me. Hold on. There you go. Thanks so much, Sookie. I hope it really helps. But can we try to keep this between the three of us? I'm sure Edward will be really embarrassed about this. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Yeah. Okay. We understand. Thanks, guys. No problem. All right, guys, I have to go, but thanks so much for the information. Anytime. Bye, have a good class. Bye. Who are you calling? No one. Oh my gosh, you'll never believe this. Guess who's having trouble in paradise? Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna tell everybody. Hey, alright, now guess what? <laughs> Did you hear? Edward's bite force? Not good enough for Bella. Excuse me? Oops, uh, gotta go. Hey, put a shirt on. It's winter. You put a shirt on! So, I heard a rumor today. Well, I heard that my bite force isn't strong enough. Oh no, I told Sucky not to tell anyone. I'm so sorry they heard that way. It's really not a big deal at all. No, it's fine. I, I looked into it and I made an appointment next week with Dr. Fang. I just want you to be happy, Bill. Okay, Edward, you are just the best. Is there anything I can do to thank you? Well, I am a bit hungry. Well, okay. Come on over. Um, do you need some help with that? No, no, uh, uh, okay. Edward, it's fine. Don't worry. It happens to so many guys. Edward, what are you doing? Moving our appointment to tomorrow. Can you send the next patients in, please? Hello. Hi, Edward. Hi, Bella. Hi, nice to meet you. Why don't you guys have a seat over here? Hi, I'm Dr. Fang. Nice to meet both of you. I understand that you're having a bit of a problem with your bite force. Yes, and I need it fixed right away. I don't understand what's wrong with me. I understand your frustration, but I don't know if you know, but I am one of the foremost evolutionary biologists on vampire evolution. And in looking in the past of your kind, I have found that you're distantly related to bats. What does that have to do with anything? Funny you should ask. Recently I have found that the bite force in bats is directly related to their body size. I have a nice diagram here to help you. 
Using a bite force model, I was able to find that force depends mostly on cranial size, M temporalis muscle mass, and M temporalis fiber length located on the skull. Bat species with the largest cranial size, largest M temporalis muscle mass, and shorter temporalis fiber length bite harder. Okay, so what does that have to do with the size of Edward's body? Well, with bats, there's a bit of a trade-off between their muscle mass and their flight ability. The more a bat weighs, the more it has to carry around during flight. Therefore, the larger a bat's M temporalis muscle, the larger the bat must be in general so that its head doesn't disproportionately weigh down the body. So, in order to have a bigger bite force, I need to increase my total muscle mass? Yes! Otherwise, your head would be too heavy for your body to hold up. Dr. Fang, how did you figure all of this out? Well, actually I've got a bit of time left, so why don't we go down to my lab and I'll show you. Why don't you two have a seat right here? The first thing that you need to know about bats is that they're an extremely diverse group of mammals with variable bite forces depending on their diet. Bats are very interesting endothermic mammals which also have the ability to fly. As endotherms, they need to eat a large amount of food, but this is dependent on what they can fit into their mouth. It would seem that bats with a larger mouth would be more successful, but as I mentioned before, this can inhibit their ability to fly. So, by taking pictures of a number of different species of bats, which I have done on my computer here, I was able to create a 3D model of the bite force and the many bat species, which shows that a larger muscle mass, shorter fiber length, and a greater cranial size correlates to a higher bite force. The bats with these characteristics tended to have the larger bites. So, what do I have to do then, Doctor? Well, in short, Mr. Cullen, you need to go to the gym. That's where I come in. I do believe you've met your sister, Mr. Cullen. Try to be best, cause you're only a man, and a man's gotta learn to take it. Try to believe, though the going gets rough, that you're gonna hang tough to make it. History repeats itself. That you're the one And you can have your dreams You're the best around Nothing's gonna ever keep you down You're the best around Nothing's gonna ever keep you down You're the best around Nothing's gonna ever keep you down Fight to the end Cause I love with the pain All the strength that you have inside you the game to find you. Try your best to win them all and one day time will tell when you're the one that's standing there. you reach the final bell. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. Doctor. Me too. I guess size really does matter.